Hey, I'm Dean Linnell, and for this week's list of my top three picks for new listings in Whistler, I'm going to show you around a cabin in the woods in Whistler's cottage country at Black Tusk, a one-bedroom Lost Lake Lodge condo at Blackcomb, and a rare, beautifully renovated studio suite at Lagoons in Whistler Village. So let's go. Hey guys, welcome to this week's top three picks from me. Uh, we've got some fresh listings this week, quite a few actually. I've narrowed it down to three that I think are really interesting. Um, the first one being this home at 57 Rock Ridge Road in Black Tusk. Now, I don't think I've featured any listings in Black Tusk over the past uh, couple editions of, um, of the top three video, but if you're familiar with Whistler, as you come up the highway before you get to Function Junction, there's a neighborhood on the left about, oh gosh, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15K before you get to Whistler, and it's called Pinecrest and Black Tusk, and it's two gated uh, communities. And Black Tusk is one of them. It's the larger of the two. Pinecrest is a little smaller. Uh, Black Tusk and Pinecrest are situated around um, around a couple of lakes that are down there. So it's really beautiful. It feels like cottage country, really. Um, it's a really neat area of town. And uh, it actually is within the squamish Lillooet Regional District. So it's in the SLRD and it's not part of Whistler, but of course, you're quite close to Whistler. So uh, this is a, a very interesting house, uh, 1,200 square feet, um, three bed, two bath, built in 87, and the list price is a million six twenty five. This one's listed uh, by Marion Anderson. And uh, I'll just show you the photos here real quick. Um, so it's, uh, it's sort of a, a typical sort of cabin look. And um, it has been upgraded on the exterior. However, it's still fairly circa 1987 inside. And I don't think really much has been done over the years. Um, but uh, very good condition, well cared for, really cool little quiet neighborhood down there. And I uh, can just walk down to the lake. There's an amenities building down at the lake. And there's a playground and a beach and uh, swimming and everything. It's a little bit of a shallow, kind of weedy lake. Um, but uh, around the beach there, the weeds have been cleared out and, and kids swim in the summer. And it's, it's actually just such a super cool little zone if you've ever been uh, down there. You actually can't get in. Uh, you could walk past the gate and walk around and have a look. But um, unless you've got a pin code, you can't get past the gate. Uh, so it is a gated community. So there you go. That's 57 Rock Ridge. <clears throat> Pardon me. Now, moving over, I am really liking uh, this little lagoon studio. And I took some clients in there on the weekend to have a look at. Now, this one's listed uh, with Dave Sharp. Um, and this one is a uh, $885,000 studio in lagoons and 502 square feet and it's been renovated and it's actually super cool what you can do with these uh, with these studios down at Lagoons. Um, there's a Murphy bed that pulls out so you can see uh, if I just actually go to the next here so there's a Murphy bed here plenty of storage uh, lots of storage in here full featured kitchen with full appliances so not sweet size small appliances and you're right across the street from Marketplace and um, the uh, IGA, Fresh Street Market, McDonald's, TD Bank, liquor store, all that stuff. Uh, yeah, so this shot here shows you the bed pulled down. Now you are pretty co you're pretty close to the street um, here, so you're right on uh, Northlands Boulevard, which is fairly busy, so it might be a little loud in this unit. Um, and then outside on the deck... If you see here, you've got a, uh, just before you go out onto the deck, you do have a washer dryer, but this cubby here goes into sort of the attic space of this zone, and there's tons of storage in there. It's actually really cool. They've got boxes and their luggage, and anything that you want to get out of your hair can go into this cubby. So this is a cool uh, unit, and there is no pool or hot tub at this property. It's called Lagoons because there's a lagoon and uh, there is no pool but it's very pretty in the summer um, with bulrushes and flowers and everything all around the lagoon so 
That's that. Now let's move over to our next option here. Now this is a one-bedroom unit in Lost Lake Lodge, and this one's listed by uh, the Whistler Real Estate Company, our company, and Shannon Marler here with our company. So uh, one-bedrooms in Lost Lake Lodge come up occasionally, but not too, too often. And uh, this one bedroom is a million eighty nine, which seems about right for one bedroom pricing uh, currently in the market, six hundred and forty two square feet. And um, this is just the one picture here, so there is no photos of the in- interior. But most one bedrooms are the same, whether you're looking at a Lost Lake Lodge unit or an Aspen's unit or um, you know, a uh, Blackcomb Springs or something like that. These were built by IntraWest uh, back in the day, in the 90s. IntraWest, of course, um, one of the, the big developers of Whistler Blackcomb and the village and everything. So uh, a lot of the real estate surrounding the mountains. Um, but this is a good buy, a uh, million eighty nine. I think this one will probably sell pretty quick. It's only been on the market now for a few days. So that's my top three picks for this week. If you have any questions about real estate in Whistler, certainly reach out to me. Um, um, My contact details are in the description below. And I hope you guys have a great weekend, and we'll see you soon.